Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. Today we're talking about why backups are the one control missing and why you must know your backups to survive an attack. So hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired, and alone, trying to understand all of this DFARS, NIST SP-800-171, and CMMC compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload, if you feel like you're drowning in the hundreds of pages of confusing legalese and hard to understand techno mumbo jumbo, or if you need to help connecting the dots for the leaders in your company between getting compliant and how it can lead to growth and higher profits, if you're like, oh my gosh, Mike, that's me, and you're screaming and you're jumping up and down, pointing at yourself, I got great news. You found your home here with On-Call Compliance Solutions. We're here to help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. You're going to want to stick around in the end on this one. Okay, so Mike, what are you talking about the missing control? Okay, so here's the backstory. If you've been in IT or cybersecurity for 20 plus years like I have, then, you've, then you're bound to have witnessed a few tragedies in your time. I call them war wounds, Sailor Jerry stories. You see, when it comes to information and cybersecurity, Every expert with real experience will tell you that nothing is really 100% secure. The concept of 100% security really doesn't exist, which is why you absolutely must have a plan for when it all goes wrong and an attack succeeds. For me, that plan is to have a real air-gapped image-based backup of all critical systems with a rapid way to virtually spin those critical systems right back up on an alternative box or server or whatever it may be both locally and somewhere off in a secure DFARS compliant data center in an emergency. And I clearly must not be the only one who thinks this way because all the way back in CMMC 1.0, which is which was an attempt to improve and update the security controls in NIST SP-800-171, they did in fact have a control, RE.2.137, regularly perform and test backups. Aha, so that was the first, that was a control that was in there but they've now eliminated that. So I think I think it filled a huge, massive gaping hole in NIST SP-800-171, which is how do you have a security standard without a control to ensure you can recover if something does get through with all that security in place. I mean, look, Kim Kardashian had her giant diamond ring stolen in Paris by jewel thieves. Even with the massive security budget her family has to keep them safe from exactly that kind of crazy security breach, the bottom line is that there are thieves out there that are so good and nothing is 100% foolproof. And that's just our reality that we live in, okay? And so is ransomware, okay? In our world of being defense contractors, ransomware, cyber attacks, breaches, these are all very real things. And you know what? Obviously, you want to stop them from getting through, but the idea that they could get through is something we have to live with every day. So look, here's the story. If you get the information breached or stolen, obviously that's super bad. But what's worse is if all of that happens and then you can't make payroll the next day because you not only lost everything, but you can't get it back up and running. That is super bad, not like the movie, right? So in order to not end up like Kim Kardashian, in this case, we need a backup ring or a backup plan. And I think this is a minimum permission to play if we're responsible for managing your stuff, okay? So I can tell you that we manage hundreds of companies worth of technology, and there is not a single server that we accept under management that we do not mandate a full and complete backup recovery appliance on and an offsite service for. Again, DFAR is compliant for defense contractors. I just won't accept anything less for our client base. It's way too much risk, which means you shouldn't either. What do we recommend here? One, we recommend taking time to both back up all critical systems, do it the right way. Don't do it with the cheapest, remote backup, carbon-based method, right? Just ask someone who has recovered from one of these offsite backup vendors just how long it took them to download the data, all right? Let alone reset up the entire system when they find out that they only have the data without settings and programs. It's a horrible thing to deal with, okay? Again, if all you have is the data, you don't have the operating system, you don't have the programs, you don't have the, the licenses of the programs, all that stuff you got to go find and set up again. There's no settings. All you've got is data. And heaven forbid that you actually have to be running a MySQL or an SQL database on that server, those have a really bad track record of being able to be backed up without specialized software. Number two, I think you should understand that NIST is focused on security. They likely deemed backups to be out of scope for security but I'm gonna respectfully disagree. 
real security and protection for the defense industrial base is making sure that no matter what happened, defense industrial base company like you can stand up and keep on swinging, just like Rocky. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. You can knock them down, but backups will let them keep on getting back up and running. And that's where we want you to be. All right, finally, my third point is that obviously with CMMC, they had put it in there. I hope in a future version upgrade to NIST SP-800-171, they can add that one thing back in there as mandatory, okay? Without backup, there's just no way any business is able to claim stability and have continuity in security related scenarios. And all of this DFARS, NIST, CMMC stuff is ultimately all about protecting the defense supply chain, which includes not only keeping the information secure, but keeping these companies up and running if they get hit with an attack. Stability is a big part of what the defense industrial base needs to create that stable supply for our military and defense industry. So if you're watching this video, please do your part to protect our defense supply chain. If you need help, give us a call and we can help, but you've got to not just have air gap backup. You've got to have it in place. You got to have it tested and know that if the unknown happens, you can be back up and running quickly. And hey, and on call, we take defense contractors just like you who have had this DFARS, NIST, CMMC, and ITAR, and EAR information security compliance stuff dropped in their lap like a seagull on a sunny day. And we teach you how to level up and be a proper on-call compliance hero for your company, eliminating gaps, gray areas, and getting this solved, all while showing you how to leverage compliance as your secret weapon to land more defense work and with higher profit margins. Now that's what becoming an on-call compliance hero can do for you. Looking for more help on getting compliant? Our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171Compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to get help right now. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, and learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. And hey, if you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.